Hey everybody, welcome back to MVM Live here on another Wednesday here in Indianapolis, Indiana. David, thank you for coming back again. Yeah, what about my dancing? Thanks. Yeah, I don't know if you guys saw David's dancing during the little starting soon screen, but... Little known fact, in seventh grade I was known oh. as Dave the Wave. Is that even true? Because I can do the wave. Is that really remotely well. true? That is not remotely true, it's... it is 100% true, and I'm a little embarrassed to admit it, but that is a fact. It's one of those things that sounds just believable enough. Also, I hope that Richmond is not watching, and that Rob from Blue Peg, Pink Peg never finds out about that. Oh, no, they will, for sure. They will. <laughs> so, guys, hey, welcome, everybody. Thanks again for joining us here. Today, we're going to play Miyabi, which is kind of a tile-laying puzzle game. Um, I call this a hidden gem, because mm -hmm. this game came out a couple years ago, and I've... Like, it never reached me. Yeah, you even never though, played it. I never played it until just Yeah, recently. I didn't play it until recently either, and this was one of my favorite designers, Michael Kiesling, did a game for Haba. I know it's very easy to just underwrite Hobbit and say, oh, they make kids' games, but they make so many other types of games. They make family games. And yeah, they're not always just, like, kid level. This one's definitely this one not, not just kid level, because no. this can be very, very thinky. We're going to be playing... There's kind of the base version, which I think is probably pretty accessible. Yeah. Uh, and all versions are pretty accessible, but then they have five different modules. We're going to be playing with three of those modules that sort of add additional goals mm -hmm. and things that we're going to be chasing throughout the game. Before we jump into that, though, uh, a quick thank you to all of our sponsors. As always, Game Toppers, thank you so much for sponsoring the show. And then for Capstone, sponsoring Juicy Fruits, Yeah, we do have a winner uh, from last week, and that winner is Anne Reynolds. Um, they, she was talking about that Jack... Jack La... What's the guy's name? Jack LaLanne? Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad a Jack LaLanne comment won. Buff Richard... Uh, uh, what was his name? Buff Regis Philbin. Regis Philbin. That's, That's I what like, I said anyway. Richard Simmons is what I was thinking. He's they both a, fitness. He's kind of a Jack Re Regis. Anyway, congratulations, Anne. Uh, thank you for participating. Please email us at manversusmeepo at gmail.com with your information so we can get your uh, game out to you. So, are you ready for uh, And today uh, we will be giving away a copy of Miyabi. We will be. So if you're in the comments uh, commenting live or commenting even after the fact, you have that whole week to comment um, to win. Miyabi. So, yeah, good luck. Indeed. So do we want to give a little bit of a teach? I mean, we, it's not like we need much of a teach, but let me show you guys what the game looks like. Yeah. So, we've got these boards out here in front of us. This is our little garden, and each garden has a set of lanterns. So we've determined that I'll be the first player, and you're going to see here a certain number of different shapes tiles. We're going to actually flip some of these face up. So we'll do that now so you can see what they look yeah. like. Each one has a different kind of landscape, and there's, uh, what, six different kinds of landscapes that they can be. I can give you guys a little bit of a closer view of my player board. These are the six different landscapes. The The trick of the game is, and, and this is the crux of it, you can draft these tiles, but the icon of that symbol has to be in that row. You can never have like a bush in a different row or a koi pond in a different row or flowers in a different row. So if I was to draft this tile here, which matches, I have to put it here or here, or I could put it there, whatever. I can never put it in a way that that symbol is anywhere else. And then wherever that symbol ends up, I have to move my lantern into the used position, showing that I've already used that section of uh, that row. So I can, or column, I'm sorry. So I can't put anything else in this column. I can't put this here. I can't put, you know, anything. Yeah, not for this round. Not for this round, at least. So you, you only get one per column. So that's, it's, that's, if that's not thinking enough, you're also going to be building in layers. And in order to build in a layer, you have to have the complete ground level covered before you can place a tile on it. No bridges or anything. Well, not um, the complete, so, complete ground level. Well, I mean, like, but enough, the tile has to be to fully supported, for sure. You can't make a bridge and leave a little bit of yeah. space underneath it. It has to go completely on it. So, if that wasn't complicated enough... <laughs> There's, you said that three times now. Yeah, there's a, so there's a lot happening um, that we have to think about when drafting these tiles. It gets very thinky when you think you have the perfect setup, and then you realize, oh, I've already used that that lantern. I can't go to that column anymore. Yeah, it's so if you put a red bush down here, you can't put a stone, and it, that can really mess with you because you're, what you're really trying to do is build multi levels. Because the higher you build your garden, the more points you score. You score for each one of these symbols multiplied by how many uh, levels it is. Yeah. So a three object on a level three is nine points now, so we're competing for that we're also competing for having the most in each row so you'll get points for having the most of each and we're competing if you see over here to be the first person to build each icon on the fifth level which, which i can tell you right now is not 
based on my plays of this, it's not easy. You like, might no get one's one. gonna do a lot of this. If anyone does any, you're likely to get one of them done. Now we could just be bad at the game, but maybe that, we're just awful. That Let's is see. going to be challenging. If you do that, what I would say is you're probably not gonna f- get a lot of these points because you're probably gonna be right, spending your time stacking up. up a mountain. And then we're using three different variable modules. There's five in the game. We're using three of them. Uh, two of them are in-game scoring tiles. We have one that's going to score for your biggest connected chain of icons that are touching. And then we're going to score for your biggest empty field of blank green tiles. So, I mean, those are the two two in-game scoring yeah, tiles you'll we're pick Yeah, you'll pick up a lot uh, along the way. And did you mention the frog? No, the third module you we're using is not in-game scoring. But it's this little frog who can hop around our player board. And every time he hops up to a new level of the board, you get points for what level it is. However, uh, he can never cover any one of these icons. And he can't hop down. And he can never hop down. And a cool thing so, is, it's... once he gets to the fourth level, he's get, he gets promoted from a silver frog to the other side, which is a gold frog. At which point, he can hop on objects. Yeah. But he can never hop down. So... You're going to basically get, what, five points out of this guy at most? Probably. You could, it's been, no. Oh, no, not five per, points. Per level. So, five, so four, you get three, ten. Two, yeah. You could potentially get him up to level five. Yeah, yeah. If you have a level five, and you could get the frog up there. It, it's tough. So, anyway. Fifteen points. So, yeah, those are the those are the modules we're using. we got the scoreboard over here. The game is played over six rounds. And the um, score so, gets pretty big. Yeah. Like, that track, we'll go through that track, hopefully, two or three times. Oh, Gator Dave does not like frogs. Oh, only good frog is a dead frog. Ouch. That's harsh. He also mentioned this was on his sh- shelf of shame. Da- uh, Probably because it has a frog in it. He's like, I'm just not going to play it. <laughs> well, you don't have to play with that module. That's the good that's, news. That's the, that's the thing you But can after do you that watch this, out. maybe you'll pull it off the shelf and play it because it is a fun, thinky little tile placement game for yeah, sure. Yeah, it is. All right, so let's... Um, let's get underway. Let's see what we've got here. So, yeah, you oh, wanna the first s- thing we want to do is put our frog oh, out. It has true. to start somewhere. I'm going to take a look at these tiles before I do that. That's right. I am doing the same thing. Like, what uh, tiles do I want? There's a pretty want? good mix here, there actually. There is a pretty good mix. I see almost everything represented. Uh, yeah, I think everything is represented, right? Am I missing anything? But some of the tiles are only there once, so. First come, first serve. I'm going to put my frog, right, put my frog here. right here. All right. So let's let's uh, let's jump in. So let's we'll just draft back and forth. In. So you'll see, um, I'm taking a tile. I'm placing it here. So this is in the correct row. Oh, you're going after those red bushes again, huh? And I that was a good tile because it's got these blank cherry spaces for my for my frog to jump on. Um, so that's done. That row's done. And I'm gonna get three points because that was a three point tile on level, level one. one. So three times one is one or three. All right. I am going to go here and place this here, which is also three bushes times level one, so three points, please. Yep. Oh, wait a minute. I screwed up. What? Did you really already? No, that's all right. That's all right. So then, <laughs> uh, before or after you lay your tile, you can move your frog. I'm oh, but you move can you, oh, okay, yeah. He can stay on the same level, he just can't move he down. He just can't move down to another level. That makes and I have sense. to put my lantern up because I can't place anything else in that column. All right. I'm going to take this other red flower tile because they were both out there. And I'm going to put it right next to this one, uh, which is just going to give me two points because it is uh, two times one. And that blocks off this row. So what I really want, what I'd really like to do, see, you'll see the strategy here, is I put another tile across here. But I can't because it has to have, like, I've already used those two ropes. Yeah. So I can't put anything else over here. So. All right. So I'm going to I'm gonna get my frog here into action just for Gator Dave. Hey, Carol, you haven't missed much. We kind of talked about the basics of how to play, but you'll catch it up. I'm going to take this tile here with the two bushes, and I'm going to place it on top of the tile I already built because oh, it's wow. fully supported. Now, I am covering up some bushes, which isn't great, but... I'll show you why. I'm going to place it there. It's two on level two, so that's four more points for yeah, me. Yeah, four points for you. And then I'm going to hop my frog up on level one. Ooh, so another more point, point for the frog. Look at that. You're taking an early lead, Damon. Well, I did I did <laughs> when we played last time, too, and then it wasn't so much the case at the end. All right, so I'm going to go for this koi pond here. This is a two. 
Uh, I'm going to go right here. I guess I'm just going um, straight down the line. But that's just one tile on a level one, so that's just one point for me. Uh, Tiff, I can't believe, I'm surprised Heavy Cardboard played this. It doesn't seem like... I mean, it, it is a little meaty of a game. They generally play, you know, more like multi-hour long heavy Euros, but I, I would like to see them play this. That sounds like fun. All right, I am going to take this tile here and yeah. place it right there for three points because it's three. One, two, three for David. On that column. Let's see if I can... He said now, you're, gonna, you're building a Jenga tower down here. It may be. Uh, there is. It is possible, so you might have to pass... Uh, if you can't place one of yeah. the tiles, and and when I first read the rules, I thought, well, that's not going to happen. Oh, but it, it, it will happen. It, it will likely happen. Right, I'm taking this, which is a little Ryan's city going tile. after those high value which is uh, three objects. Points. One, two, three. The scoring at the top here is pretty significant compared to the ones at the bottom. So the more of those icons, yeah, you have, but, the better. You know, that wasn't actually my strategy setting out, but I just saw that that tile happened to be there and it fit. Um, oh. Well, well there's not really a lot left. There's some rocks and some yeah. core, uh, core, koi points. Koi. Koi points. <laughs> Get it, Abe? It's six rounds. We've got, for two-player game, it's six rounds. You'll see that up here. If you can kind of see this player uh, score break there. I'm going to go here for two points on the rocks. All right. Well, I guess my options are stone or koi. So stone or koi. Let's start with the koi. I'll put it here for a whopping one point. Yeah, that's one point. I too will go with the koi. All right. Um, for another one point for you. Yeah. All right, and then I guess I my I option is stone. Get a stone. And I really only have one spot to put it. I have to put it right here. That's the only spot available for me, so I don't know that I want to build out in that little corner, but I'm going to get one point for it. I am also going to take that stone, obviously, uh, mm -hmm. and put it the only place I can, which is right there, which will bring this round to an one end. one point for you. Yes, one point. So David is four points ahead currently going into the second round. Currently. Uh, when we played this the other day... So you'll take that for spare it, marker. It can be pretty swingy. But that the points really stayed very close throughout the whole game until the end, which is when Ryan kind of ran Well, away. I got a lot of in-game scoring points last time we played. so it just Yeah, depends. I wasn't paying attention to these points down the left side of the board as well as I should have been. And then four of those, right? Yep. Oh, no. We have a we're, we're, collapsing we're, tower. We're, we're dropping tiles. Now, just so you know, we've neatly stacked these, but the <laughs> game recommends that you just pour them all out or keep them in the box lid. It doesn't really matter as long down. as you can draw them. Yeah. All right, well, you've got first pick here, David. All right, I'm going to lay my lanterns back down. Let me actually do the same thing. All right. Oh, that's right. In yeah, a two-player game, left. I finish that round and I start this round, which is nice. Jess uh, is really good. You can't underestimate Jess from Heavy Cardboard. She's a good gamer. I think she'd have Edward on the ropes more often than not. But don't tell Edward I said that. Oh, I've been missing the opportunity to move my frog as well. I haven't. I should have moved him, but I didn't. Um, let's see. That's not going to happen. That will. <laughs> okay. I'm going to take these rocks and put them right here. Oh, nice. For two points? For two points. Well, and then I'm going to move my frog up or there. Two more points? For two more points. Oof, you've closed that gap. All right, I'm taking uh, this tile here, and I'm actually going to place it right here. Mm. So we're on level two now. That's six points, three times two. And I'm going to move my frog up onto it, which is two more points. Look at that. Nice. Brings us back to a tied situation. 19 points each. <laughs> and that means I have to... I'm done with this one. So that's done. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. I'm going to place this right here. Nice. For three points. Yeah, and yeah, three points. Hmm. And not move my frog, because I can't. Well, I, no, I couldn't. Because he has to go up or 
level, and he's on a little space all by himself. All right, so where I really want to put this tile is right here, which is the one place I can't put it. So I'm going to put it here. Here? Yeah, I'm he said put it right here. Question mark? Right here for three points. That's the tile One, I was two, eyeing. Three. Was Thanks it really? A lot. Where would you put it? On top of this row? Like right here? I was going to cover uh, that up uh, so I could eventually move my frog. But I'm going to take this right here. Yeah, that's a good one, too. Place it there for three points. Yep. Get, get in on some of those. I assume that's a cherry blossom. I don't know. What kind of tree is that? I don't think? actually. No, I don't think it is. I don't know what kind of tree that is. I don't I'm going to say... look it up as Ryan takes Does it his say turn. in the rule book what kind of tree it is? Maybe. Bonsai well, tree. It's a oh, bonsai that's, tree. That's uh, interesting. That's, that's not. It's the same as this, but I've never seen a, a red one. But I, I guess I not. could be. Oh, yes. No, it's a maple tree. Oh. So, they call it a... just to let everyone know what the icons are, because oh, this go. is news to us. We've got maple tree, Yeah. the pagodas, which yeah. are the little blues, fish, which, so the it's not pond. really, oh. It's not... They're it's, fish it's in a the... pond. Yes, but that's two. Oh, two fish? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. I see. You know what? We didn't even score it that way Yeah, yesterday. I don't think we did. Uh, and then the azalea bush, which are these, the boxwood, and then the stone. And the stone. Well, you'd have to have multiple fish um, yeah we didn't uh, that didn't occur to us i'm gonna take this before. fish and oh no that's where i i can't put it there i already put something there that was what threw off my whole plan yeah it gets a little tricky when you realize oh i've already lanterned my column and i can't place anything what else i need is there. an azalea bush that's double a twofer but there isn't that's one. too bad let's take this I'm one super I'm sorry drop for that you. here and that's just gonna get me one point a whopping one point unfortunately Ah, uh, interesting. Yeah, it is. <laughs> is it? It's There's a lot of fish left. Oof. Oh, Dragon's Tomb is here. He's going to make some funny comments. Nice. There must be so much pressure. I feel like every time he pops up in anything, people like when people expect you to be funny or say funny things. Oh, do people expect him to be funny? I'm just I mean, I'm, I'm teasing. I tease. I'm taking this. I'm not sure why. It's mainly because I think there's going to be plenty of koi left in a second. You can't put it there, though. You already used that section of your board. Uh, see? See, Ryan? It's the hard part. But I want to. I know. I wanted to put one right here. Uh -huh. I wanted to drop that fish right in the middle. So, I've got a few options, honestly. It is, it's going to be all about the koi. Um, there's a lot of koi left. That is a fact. But... Instead of that, I'm going to take this bush right here. Oh, so this was a two fish tile, so I should have one. I only gave myself one point for that. Right here. I didn't even see the second fish swimming around in there. For just one point. One point. I'm going to take, I guess, this one and put it here. Covering a fish, but there's two fish here at level two, so that's four points. One, two. Oh, did you remedy your points for that? I did. I just okay. I, it was only one point difference. Um, I am going to take this tile here, mm -hmm. place it like so. Whoops, for two points because there's two fish. Yep. I'm gonna take. Is this one fish and one fish? They're both one. Well, that doesn't seem useful to me. I'll take this one here. Oh. I'll put it here. So the bush lines up with the bush. Two bushes is two points. And that, that's that. So I got one space left. Luckily, I'm going to get a fish. We're both going to get a fish. Mm -hmm, put that so. there for two points because it's on level two. Yep. And mine is just going to be a one-pointer because it's just... That's fine. It's, you know, sometimes you have lots to Lots of fish out. For the one-pointer. Look All at right, that. 31 to 30, back together. Still Good morning, Casey. Tight. Hello. <laughs> Cater says, yeah, the bat. That was a crazy... That was crazy. I can't believe you missed that live. <laughs> All right, so we're on to round uh, three. Actually, I didn't move it last round. I need to set up my frog for more movement. We do have bats in the backyard sometimes. Like, at night, there's bats out here. Like, it's kind of nice, actually. I don't mind bats. Kind of nice? Yeah, I don't mind bats at all. All right, can you have I me... I mean, I can see not minding them. I'm not sure I Pass see it over. it's kind of nice. Seems a little much. Hmm. Oh, we had a lot of koi last time, uh, but not so much this time. Not so much at all this time. Not any, not, no pagodas either. 
Oh, this is going to be an interesting one, that is for sure. And there is, uh, I don't know what the mix off the top of my head, but there is definitely a distribution of all these tiles. The inside of the top of the box actually has a really cool diagram that shows the complete distribution. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's kind of hard to track as you're playing. Oh, it's a very hard bit. to track as you're playing. Bit. There's so many other things to track. I'm going to take this one that's three and put it here. Fortunately, it has to go on level one. Actually, I could put it on level... Why don't I do this? I'm covering up all my flowers. I forgot to reset my... Did you reset yours? That I was, did. You were smart. I'm... Uh, so that, that covers all my... Ooh, uh, flowers, but it's going to give me six points, so that might be worth it. It's One, not two. bad. Not bad. Wait, I'm orange. I'm orange. Yeah, it's not bad. I don't, it could have been better for me. Um, yeah, It's weird that there's no pagodas or single fish tiles out. Oh. This is tough. This It's... So... I, I'm gonna whatever you this. think about this game, when you when you hear the description, when you start playing it, you you yeah. you're like, oh man, wait, like there's I gotta yeah. think twice about that. I can tell you this for a fact: if you have preconceived notions about Haba being kids' game and you played this game, you'd be like, well, wait a minute. This yeah, is... I mean, it's still within that family weight, though. Like, yeah, you any, could... anyone could play this, right? But it's super thinky. You, if you, you might have to help really out. I don't know. Did what you the... give me two points? I didn't. I don't know what the age uh, suggestion is for this one particularly. Uh, eight, but, eight and up. But, you know, your younger kids, you could easily help them, too. I think, you know, placing the tiles is easy. It's just the scoring that might be a little <clears throat> harder for kids. Yeah, I think it's really just the satisfaction of puzzling it together. Yeah. All right, well, I'm going to take this tile and put it here, covering up that koi, unfortunately. Uh, but it is three on level two, so that's six points. See, Ryan's jumping out. I am jumping. I'm going heavy on level two, but that blocks that off. So I'm going to move my fish, Your fish? or my frog there. For no points. For no points, because it stayed on the same level. All right. I don't um, think I've messed up any rules, Gator Dave. Thank you very much. Oh, you want to know? I want to. I'm going to double check the frog rules. Actually, I'm going to wait until you can move it before or after your top place. Yeah, but I'm wondering: do you only get points when you're moving up, or yes. do you get the same points over no, and over? No, otherwise, you, why wouldn't you just bounce it between That's, two spots forever? Well, you just get one point. It's when you move up to the next level. Okay. Yeah, I figured. Yeah, but it's always when you move up. I'm going to double check that. I am taking this and placing it right here mm -hmm. for six points, please. All right, you get points when you move up. It would, I, it, I, I, I feel like it would be abusive to just I, I think consistently it would be get too. points forever. But the, the the point scoring is when you move up a level. You don't get anything for moving on the same same level. I I know what you're saying. Okay, <laughs> I'm, I'm just, gonna take this. I'm just checking. Here, it's level three for two points. So that level three times two, that's six points. We were originally correct, I, and yes, you were. Right. I'm gonna move my frog up to the third level. Uh, which is going to give me three more points. So 50, 51, 52. I have crossed over to the 50 mark, David. You're almost there. Oof. But I've jumped up to... I'm on level three now for this one little space. I'm building that one little thing. You have done a thing. I don't know if I'll ever get to level five. For sure. I do not know about that, but I'm going to try. Um. Ah, so challenging yeah so many decisions to make you've definitely well, that got... one's out of the question um which one's out of the question the rock one for you you can't make that one fit no so basically if i just leave you that one you can't use it i am going to grab I think that was that's a good one. one i was thinking about that one and place it right here for two points or hold on yeah, two points. Two points. All right, I'm gonna take this one single uh, maple and place it up here on level three. Nice. So it's just three points because, yeah, it's just one time. I'm three. playing placing this one maple here for two. Nice on level two. All right, I got two spots left. You can't take that rock, so that rock is safe. But I kind of want. Do I even? Do I want the rock right now? Are you yeah. talking about this rock? Yeah, I think I will take the rock and put it here. 
No, I'm talking about the actual The Rock. The Rock. That would be amazing. Dwayne. Three. The Rock. One, Johnson. two, three. Can you imagine if The Rock had his own board game? That would be pretty cool. Eh, he will. I'm sure. All right, go ahead. Um. I'm going to place this. Dang, I was afraid you might do that. Here. Right there for four points. For four points. All right, well, I've got one spot left. So I could either put a rock on top of a You know what? Oh, that rock works out well for you, though. I mean, it fills a space. I'm going to take the rock. And it's put less, it on top point, of the other it's rock, less points for me. Which is two points for me. And I will take... This is Alia. Which is also two for points. For two points. All right, that's the end of the uh, third round. I'm at 60, and David is at 47, or 48. Oh, That's pretty close. I don't know. That, that's a bigger gap than we had it's when we last It's not that big played. of a gap. There's ways to score we'll see. these we'll points. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. We will definitely see how it goes. Let's put out some new tiles. We'll definitely. Good old rock. Nothing can ever beat it. That paper. Don't tell me that I'm. I'm not bragging. We didn't use the, the one of the modules is the Zen Garden. Yeah, I know. If I could have put the Zen Garden right here in the middle of mine, or if you could oh, put a Zen Garden, you would have gotten a lot of points if you put a Zen Garden right there. Hey, don't you have to completely surround it, or is it the edge? The count? edge counts. Oh, okay, I believe. So that is one of the other modules he's talking. I feel about. like the edge has to count because you can't put it outside the. Edge. I don't know. We didn't. We didn't. We're not playing with it. I've never played with it. I've just read about it in the rules. This is my turn now. Or did, did I just uh, go? I, you started, I started. No, you started. I started one. the whole game, then you're two, then I was three, then you're four. Okay. So, yeah. All Still right. no single fish what tiles. What do we have If here? all the single fish tiles are gone, I am in trouble. That's bad. I'm going to have that hole in the middle of my board forever. Um, I feel like I'm going to make some moves here. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, yeah, just to just start closing the gap. I'm going to put this right here for six points. One, two, three, four, five, six. That definitely is closing the gap. Six points is pretty good. Six points is not nothing. No, it's definitely not. Um, how do I do this in a way that I can? And I'm going to move my frog one. How do I do this, David? There's no pagodas out. There's one. Oh, there's one one. That's not going to help. Cover up one of your threes with a one. I'm not going to do that. That might be a good idea. That's, it think, may be crazy enough to work. I think it's a terrible idea. I don't think it's going to And I told work. you this yesterday, but every time I see those pagodas from a distance, it looks like a bunch of little blockbuster logos. Yeah, I, it, I can it see just, that. I don't know why. I'm going to take this one. I'm going to place it here. It must have nailed the colors. Well, so it's six points. six points for me. And it's more about also setting up what I want to do next. So, yes, there's going to be a hole right here forever because... I'm going to zoom right. in so you can see that hole in better glory. There's a hole right there. Not forever. If no, if there's no more single fish, I don't know how many single fish there are. That's true. I'm going to take these two boxwoods and put them right there. Nice. For... Is that level three? That's level so three, six so six points. points. And I'm going to move my frog up one for another three. Oh, so look at that. You were worried about that gap. It's gone. Look at that. That gap is gone. Gone gap. All right, I'm going to take this uh, fish and go here. It's mm. three on level three. That's Now the gap is back. So that's, that's <laughs> nine points. Eight, nine. Ouch. Uh, and do I want... I'm going to... No, I'm not going to move... My frog, because that would just keep him on the same level. I really want to get him to level four, though, if possible. All right, that's it for me. Um, <laughs> yeah, Gator Dave is right. There is an entire generation of kids that would never know what a blockbuster video is. That's true. In fact, those kids might be let, like getting to let, be like high school age. I'm guessing they're not watching this stream right now. <laughs> they might. But you never know. We'll see. I'm taking this boxwood and putting it right here. You're going heavy on those boxwoods, huh? For six points. Yeah. And I'm going to move my frog. Um, <laughs> Having second thoughts about the frog? No. I'm going to keep the frog where 
It is. Okay. And I'm going to take this... Oh, but I need to lantern up here. I'm going to take this little curve. I'm surprised you left me this. This was like the perfect spot piece to go there. I mean, it's only going to give me three points, but it's I'm not a really hateful well. drafter, Ryan. <laughs> I don't pay attention uh, to hate to, to, draft to, options. Well, I mean, I, I, I kind of do. I'm just making an excuse for not having oh, okay. paid attention. All right. Uh, I think I will take... Oh. Yeah, what, you got you got to think through. I think I'm gonna go crazy. Oh, I'm gonna take this koi. Are you? Is this crazy, David? Right here. Crazy, David. Uh, put it right here for six points because it's two. Just tiff. That doesn't surprise me to hear that. Oh, you I hate can't. Drafts. Never mind. I can't. Oh, because you already that. placed something there. I already placed something. Yeah, there. that's the thing. You got to plan ahead, and we're already in round four, so getting to level five is gonna be tough. I'm gonna go here with these rocks. Uh. For four points? For four points. All right. I'm going to take... Do I want... I do want that koi, but I have nowhere to... Well, I guess I could put it right on top of my other koi for no actual gain, except that's level three, so I would get six points. It's not bad. Well, there's a cherry blossom up there to fill a gap. Oh, I know. Or a maple, rather. Well, I think I'll take that if you don't. I don't know what I'm going to take between the fish. I can, you could use the fish. I can't you. use it. I mean, it... you could. I'm going to take this this um, maple, which is only at one point. I tricked him, everybody. No, I was. I really wanted that maple, actually. Well, I'm glad you took it because I'm taking those koi for sure. I knew you were, and you're going to. And get... I'm placing it on top of these koi for six points. For six points. This is this was better for me uh, in all because now I'm going to take this. Are we? Tied up right now? We are tied up right here. Okay. Uh, but that's only Ooh, that's level three. That's not bad. Yeah, but it's just a one, so it's just three points for me. Well, I am going to take that dinky little rock, pebble as it were, yep. and place it in that for little gap for one little point. And I guess I'm left with this. I don't even know what I'm going to do with it. Throw it here, I guess. The one spot it could go for a whopping wall point. So we're close. Four point we difference. Close. Going in around five. We're going in around five? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, so give me the give me the tree there back. There you go. There you go. What happens now is important. We'll see. Oh, there's another. Well, it's uh oh pagoda and boxwood. We need four of these. Oh, there are pagodas. All right, this oh, is there good. Are this is what I was pagodas. waiting for. Taking this fish and putting it here on level four. I should probably put these down. So that's four times three, so that's 12 points for that tile. <clears throat> that's what I was waiting for, something like that. 10, 11, 12, 45. Woof. And then I'm going to move my frog up to level four. That's not which bad. Which is one, two, three, four more points. And now he flips to a gold frog. So he can move on to features now, which is really good. That's what I was kind of hoping for. Hmm... What can I do? What can I do? Not much. The, I'm kind of in a pickle. This is not a good set of tiles for me. For what it's I was not a bad set for me though. Hoping to get done. Not no, a, not it's a bad not set. For a what bad I'm trying set to do for you. Uh, oof. But I'm not. I'm playing a different game this time. I'm not really focusing on those in-game objectives oh, at all. I need to reset my lanterns. Last time I focused just on the in-game objective, scoring a lot of points. Jeremy asks, did you find the hidden game yet? I don't know. I don't know. Is there a hidden game in this? The hidden game. Oh, hidden gems. Hidden gems. Oh, hidden gems. Oh, I, re <laughs> I really thought that said hidden game. I'm still <laughs> I'm still in the dark as to what he means about hidden gems. I don't know gems. about the hidden gems either. Maybe there's hidden gems oh, in the box. Okay, I'm going to take this koi... And put it right here you for would. nine. You would, David. I mean, it's, I'm just grabbing points where I can. I'm going to take point. this uh, azalea and place it here. For That's level four times two, so that's eight points. One, seven, eight. So that puts me over 100. I'm at 107. Mm. And that's this. And I'm going to move my frog one space. 
to it's good, there. Good move. No, actually, no, I'm not. Not like there's anything left that he can. And there's no koi left. Um. I'm going to just add yeah. these pagodas right here. So three points. One, two, three. And I'm going to add these pagodas right here. That's level three. It is. So that's six points. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can't move my frog onto it, but that area is now done. Um. What are you thinking, David? I think I'm, I'm, I'm messed up is what I'm thinking. Oh, yeah, seriously, these tiles are not Oh, I see. super great. Because I, it's a hidden, did I find the hidden gems yet? I told, at the beginning I said, I called this a hidden gem um, because it's a Kiesling game. Michael Kiesling is one of my favorite designers, but it kind of flew under the radar for me. Uh, I hadn't heard of it back. This game came out in, what, 2019? Um, yeah. So that, I mean, obviously 2000, you know... 19 was kind of a crazy year. Um, so I don't, I don't know what... I don't know when it came out in 2019. Um, but if it was later in the year, I probably didn't get to play it because there was no 2020 cons. Mm. But either way, um, I'm glad I'm playing it now, for sure. Yeah, I can't... Uh, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm definitely in a situation. You're in a pickle? Uh, yeah, I'm definitely in a pickle. I'll take this. Well, that's... Uh, that's just going to... Get you four points? Yep, four points. Points are good. Yeah. I feel like you had a much better board last time we played. I, th this round, with my board and these tiles, not a good combo. But I'm not looking at a good situation either here. Well, I thought you were. I thought you had something. Well, you can't... Those azaleas are nobodies. <laughs> that's that's what I was trying to figure out. How do I get those azaleas? I can't get them. No, I can't either. So we're someone's mm -hmm. going to be passing. I needed some two. It's probably going to be me. Right, I'm going to take this pagoda, place it on here, level three. Just three, uh, three. So times one, three points. All right, I'm going to take this right bush here and place it here for four. Points. Mm -hmm. Alright. You're at a hundred. Woohoo! Or almost yeah. And then what do I got? What do I have here? I guess I could take this pagoda for two points because it's level two. Um Yeah, I have no idea. And I'm going to move Mike Frog down one space. Mm. Not down, down, but like south. What are you thinking, David? I'm, Scott, we got one more I'm round. I'm looking at what you've got going on here. It was uh, early 2019. Yeah, there are, there is always so much new stuff. And sometimes, I'm not I'm not saying me. Six points. Sometimes people discount Hobba games. I, I have tons of Hobba games, like Super Rhino Hero and things like that. Um, but I just didn't expect a Kiesling game. From Haba. No. If I had known, I would have gone and got it immediately. This is yeah. This is definitely more in their strategy line of games. I think I've put. I mean, I've played. I think at this point most Take of his games. Take the boxwood. That's all I can do. For two points. So look, we're you're closing back in. It's one hundred six to one twenty oh, at the start of the last round. I totally missed an opportunity. I should have placed this right here. Because I could have taken that boxwood. Oh well, this tile's gone. Nobody took that tile out of the game. I was good. I could have. Could you? My have? last box, the last tile I took, I placed here instead of here, and I could have put that oh. boxwood right there for big points. Well, next round you can. No, I can't. This is the moment where you're supposed to go. Oh well, you oh, can no. retcon that. What? Do you want me to let you? No. <laughs> no. Can't. It doesn't mean anything if I had to ask for it. All right. Here's this. <laughs> here's. I don't even think I don't. I never really think about it. Wow, no, no fish. Okay, you're gonna have to bear with me because I am. This is the last round. I'm trying this to milk round. every point I can get. That's a good idea. Oh no! Oh no! 
That doesn't sound good. What? Yeah, I'm there's no. Looking. I'm a little bummed out that there's no fish. So that that hole will remain empty forever. Not only that, but I can't set up what I'm trying to do. Um, which was build another fish here and get the the level five fish. That would have been nice. All right, I'm gonna take this azalea and put it there for three points. Okay. I do like what move this my, game does. I'm gonna move my frog. Well, beforehand, huh? I'm gonna place this here for. I should have reset these. Just for two points. I'm oh, sorry. How many points did you get? Uh, for what I just did, yeah, I did. Uh, three points. And I get two. Okay. Go ahead. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Uh. I know it's it's tough. Let's see. Doing a little bit of math here, trying to figure out you have? what I can and Seven? cannot do. Oh dang! Um, so I am got going. Me on fish. I'm going to take this bush. Yep. And build it here. I think you've got me on bushes too. For five points. Five points plus yep. six more. Yep. Well done. I'm gonna move my frog here. Um, I'm gonna put. This is Alia here, which is five, level five uh, times three, so that's 15 points. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then I have the fifth level Azalea, which is what, seven? Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can your frog move on to the fifth level? Or can he, is four the highest he can No, go? he can move on to the fifth level. So then I just will do that and get five more points. Okay, that was it. That was that it. was a good. I'm surprised. I was trying to take that. I, was I know, but take you would have covered up your fish. Well, I, not only that, but I would have used this column, yeah. and I wouldn't have gotten these yeah, no, bush that's, points. That's tough. I was, I was, it was. That's the thing you got to think about. It was simple math, but. The well, question is, can I get anything else at level five? And my life. answer is, I don't think so. Um. Well, you've got pagodas wrapped up. I do, and I think I have the red wrapped up as well and i have the azaleas wrapped up because there's no azaleas i think this competition is about stone right now <laughs> it is a, there's stone, a lot of stone it, it is a stone situation i can't believe how much stone is out for there. sure um oh man i'm gonna take this little bitty stone yep for one, one point one point i'm gonna take this big three stone here for three points for three points, one, two, three, puts me over to the 150 mark. Oof. Hey, Kevin, welcome. Thanks for joining us. And yeah, that tip, that was actually a good turn for me. I'm going to take this two stone and get four points. Nice. Oh, I put that one there, didn't I? I'm going to take, do I want this one? Uh, this is a good one. Oh, except I can't put it where I'd want to put it. I can't put it here. Well, can't you put it here? I could, but I'm covering stone with stone. Oh, yeah. I guess I could do... You can't take that three one at all. No, this one's pretty that's... attractive. Yeah, I know. That's the one I can actually put and not lose points. So I can put it there, which is four points. One, two, three, four. It it is it's been an interesting game so far, Kevin. Uh, I can't do what I was hoping to do. I was trying to get a situation where I could finally move my frog back up, but that's not going to happen. Why don't you move him up? He can't move on. Oh, is that, bush. is that level four? What level are you he, on right he's now? He's level three. Oh. And I went for. Oh, you doubled up. I went for the bush points instead of moving my frog. I see. So he's actually he can't jump up two levels. The tiles I needed for that to happen weren't that's just weren't coming out. Um, well, if you get that long rock, you could... I don't know if we have enough turns left. No, I can't. 
Like, so, because of all, I've used these lanterns is the problem. You can put that big rock there. Oh, you're right. You can't get on that yet. Having that gold frog, getting to level four and making him gold really helps because you have that flexibility now. Um, I like the frog module. I do want to play with the Zen Garden module. Um, there were two modules we didn't play with, so. Yeah, I got to look for my other goals. Um... There. Yeah, I didn't really focus on uh, uh, all of the goals this time. I will place. Oh, I can't place that there. I've got to place it here. Yeah. For nine points. For nine points. Yeah. Wait, that's me. All right. Well, do I take that? What do I do here? I can't take the rock. You could take the rock and get, what, six points out of it? I could take the pagoda. I mean, yeah, you could do that. That might be my best bet. Wait, where are you going to... Oh, you're just going to... Oh, yeah, that's Cause, probably Because, I mean, I'm already beating you in Oh, you're going to destroy. But I will say, what one, level is this? one strategy that you cannot overlook... One, two, this is four. So four <laughs> times two, that's eight points. Particularly if you're playing with this tile here that gives you... Uh, points for your biggest continuous set of yeah, icons is, uh, is filling those top two rows because those are also both worth significant points. And I didn't actually end up doing that, but yes. Well, I will take the pagoda because it's the only thing I can take. Uh, and well, I that's good for you because I can't. Here. So that's six, four, four points? Four points. It's not, it's not good. I, I can't take that tile. There's no spot <clears> for me to place that rock. Yeah. So. But see you later, Gator Dave. Thanks for joining us. Oh my gosh, you are going to beat me worse than you did the other day. Well, I don't know. This towel's gone, and that's game. That's game. That's six rounds. So let's um let's score it up. So uh you got the scoreboard right here. Let's see. So first row, I think I have more maples than you. Yes, you so do. It's Fifteen, and I get seven. So I go up to there. Twenty get seven. Um, the pagodas, I think I have more, yeah, right? I'm pretty sure you do. <laughs> Twelve, but you'll get six. Yeah, you're just making... Uh, what about... No, but you have more fish than I do. No, I have one, two, three... I have six. I have... You have seven. Seven. And I have six. You're not on them? I'm not on any All fish. Right. Technically, well, you I should take your frog off at this point. Nine to four. I got nine points, you got four. Yeah. Let's see, that's good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to four. One, two, three, four. Bushes, you've got me. So that's seven for you. And only three for me. And then what about you've rocks? Got, you've got Do rocks. I have rocks? Yeah. Six for me. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I get three. Me getting rocks was, was huge. <laughs> that was that was a big one. All right. That was helpful. And then we're going to look at the three different modules that we're scoring. So... The first one is for your longest chain of interconnected uh, symbols and how many symbols are in that chain. Oh my gosh. I've got 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 7, 20, 29, 30, 31. Well, mine's awful. I'm at 4 right now, so that puts me at 35. 10. 10? 10. Look at my board. 20 to 30. All right. But then the second one is two points for your biggest empty grass space. And this is where I've got nothing. Yeah, but I'm not going to get much. I honestly think my that. biggest empty grass space is two two spaces, I think. It's just four points for me. Which is, last time we played, that's where I scored all of my points. You did I had score a lot of points there. open grassland last time. I think mine is only this one, two, three, four, five, so ten points. Ten, ten more points, so forty. I think mine is literally just two spaces. Is the most I could ever make anywhere. Two, two... One, 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 yeah. So four points. Yeah, but you got some healthy points on the object. I did. You beat me so by what, 50, 50 I beat points? you by 50, it was 239. 51. Or no, 50. That was 249. Yeah. Or 239 to 190. Yeah, so 99 points. Not right? 99 points, 50, 40, 49, 49 points. 49 points. Man. And those 49 points came almost entirely... From those, those were getting look, those top ones. These two, and the fact that you got twenty some points to my, or how many points did you get on I your? I got like thirty, oh, 30 that's points. Disgusting. <laughs> I mean, I, I made a chain like, 
That was one thing we, after we played last time. You said that you couldn't let me just have those top two rows. And I know. I didn't. Them. I didn't think you would do that again. Um, but as you can see, well, you can't see anymore. But the board that well, you end see, up with, we can see the board again. That's is fine. a really satisfying board. That's like you can't appreciate this, but it's multi-layered. You know, you've got all these different like topographies of of tiles laying yeah, on top of each other. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see. Well, let me let me hold mine up. If I can do it without everything falling down. Oh boy. Maybe I can't. Uh, nope, no way. It's not gonna happen. Oh, oh, oh! It's so heavy. There's still you can't even appreciate that from that distance. But anyway, uh, really satisfying tile end game, and it is incredibly it is. thinky. And this is as thinky as a tile game gets, I think. I think so. And honestly, uh, the game. This is my second game, so I'll be. I mean, I need to play it some more times. But the second game played out completely differently from the first game. Yeah, what was our score? Did we break 200 on the... F uh, we didn't even break 200. I think we got pretty close. We got close. They were, it was pretty pretty far up there. I would be interested. The other modules, he already mentioned the Zen Garden. There's another kind of wild one where you're... If you happen to have seven objects... Oh, in, in a row or in, column. In any row or column, you get seven points for that row or column. Which well, that one is interesting, but like you, you have to like you could get a lot of points for that, but you have to stop when you get to seven, which means you might not be getting some of the other objectives. It would be difficult to try to to try to do. Yeah, I mean, uh, you could definitely do it. I mean, I had you seven, seven and one anyway. <laughs> well, then you got to look up and down too. Yeah, yeah. I had seven, seven and a couple of the up and down ones, and then the Zen Garden. Instead of drafting a normal tile, you can draft like a little Zen Garden piece. That goes on your board, and you once you completely surround it, you score a point for every icon that's surrounding it. But you can never ever build on top of a Zen Garden. Yeah, uh -huh. it's going to be on. It's oh, like, can you build them on just layer one, or can you build them on any layer? That's a good layer? question. But you can uh -huh. never you can never cover them. You they can never be covered. Yeah, I think they have to be built on layer yeah. one. Yeah. Oh, really? If I, I again, I haven't played the Zen Garden, so don't I, my word is not law here. Um, I think yes. Tiffany was in the comments. She probably know better because she said Zen Garden was her favorite one, and I'm itching to play the Zen Garden one. So hopefully we'll do that soon. So, all right, all right. Thanks everybody for watching today, and yeah, well, I guess we'll see you next week. Bye bye.